Hey guys, Yifdo here, and today I'm back with an all new mod spotlight. And seeing as it's Christmas, we have of course got a very Christmassy mod for you today. This is the Fairy Lights mod, and it is hands down my favourite Christmas mod. Now there are a lot of good ones out there, but this one takes the cake from me, because it is filled with customization, which is what Christmas's decorations is all about. It's about making it personal to you, making it unique, and of course very colourful. Now you definitely get all of that with this mod. So let's jump straight into to things here because this is a very crafting recipe heavy mod but it is well worth it to get decorations like these in your Christmas build. So let's start out with the fundamentals here. Now this is how you craft pretty much all of the lights in this mod. You need two iron a top in the top left and right hand corner so assuming this is your crafting table, string in the top and then the light of your choice. Now here I've gone with the yellow fairy light you can have different coloured lights, so I could have a blue fairy light, but you can also have different lights themselves, and we'll be going on to how that changes the customization later on. So here I've just gone for something simple, this might be what you want, just some nice yellow, maybe golden coloured, you know, the typical golden lights, you haven't quite got the golden effect, I think maybe orange would be better for that, but it's a nice yellow touch, and I think it's quite classy, quite classy, however you want to pronounce that. You literally just uh, right click on the first point and right click on the second and it will join up. And then you can connect it again and go to somewhere else. And it's got a nice loop to it. I really like that about it. Very realistic. You'll also notice that I am using shaders. That is to help with the realism. Really just makes this, makes this mod pop. You know, the, the images and the colors really complemented nicely by the shaders. But it's not essential. Optifine is now bundled with shaders, which allows you to zoom in on your nice decorations once they're up but again it's not essential one mod that i would say is a really good one to have with this and it is actually more useful really more important than the shaders itself is not enough items because that allows you to see all the crafting recipes at a glance so if you don't have that mod then you can of course pause take print screens of this uh, video as i'll be showing you all the crafting recipes in here but for the sake of convenience i would recommend not enough items and as you can see, you can customize these further. Not only can you have just one color, but you can mix it however you want. You can have a maximum of six different colors. I've gone for more of a classic colored lights here with the red, green, and blue. They came out very nicely, as you can see up there. But then, of course, you can change the lights themselves. So here we've gone for paper lanterns instead, remembering that the recipe remains very similar. I'll show you how you craft these later on. It's quite technical, which is why I've not started with that. We've also got flower lights. The flower lights are actually one of my favourites. Props to the uh, mod creator for those. They're actually a new addition to this mod. You've also got the hanging lanterns, or, or orb lights, sorry. And they're almost like baubles. They are very nice. Where did I put those? I don't even know where I put They might be them there, actually. Very nice. These uh, variation on the lantern. I think these actually look really nice in black and white. Quite a retro look to them. Quite a old-timey look but a class one at that. And you can change these colors however you want. I could have yellow flowers, I could have purple flowers. It's up to you. I could have a combination of flowers too. Really, it's your choice. That is the whole message that this mod brings you. It is up to you however you want to decorate your Christmas build this year. You can do it in a number of different ways. So as you can see in this one, I've actually got just a ton of different colors bundled in to these oil lights. They look very nice. I believe they are up there, looking splendid. And there is actually a Halloween twist. Now, although when this mod came out, I think I think two years ago, I think the earliest is 1.7, correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone who knows better, but I'm pretty sure that's when this mod first dropped, at least I've been using it since 1.7, and when I started using it, it was just Christmas lights, and that was good enough. It was literally just these, the yellow lights, and we had the curly lights there, with the coloured. But they've actually expanded this mod quite a bit in recent years, recent updates. And they've, one of the best features they've introduced in recent times is the Halloween update. And even though you can uh, put these in on their own, so I could have just jack-o'-lanterns or just witches' hats in whichever colour I prefer, these work really well in a bundle. You just put them all in together. As you can see, there's a very nice Halloween theme. So if you can, remember, the, remember this mod spotlight for next Halloween, and you can actually create some very spooky decorations. Moving back to Christmas, we've got snowflakes. Now, I... This is one of the few that I think only works in a couple of colours. White in particular, a light grey also works. Just because snowflakes don't really vary in colour that much. But you can mix it up if you want. 
We've also got the hanging uh, lights. These are the icicles. Now again, these kind of work just with one or two colours. Blue, I think, works really nicely. The um, the lighter and the darker blue both work well. But for me, it's got to be a shade of blue or white for this one. Grey again works well with the the theme. But most of the other ones, you can really mix and match the colours however you want. And that's just my personal opinion. If you'd prefer to have some uh, pink icicles, then that is your choice. There are actually some animated lights in here too. These are, they're probably not my favourite, they're probably my least favourite, but I do look, I do credit the animation. I think when they're not animated they look a bit weird. That's just, you know, I, I don't want to be critical because I really love this mod. But that's just a personal opinion of mine. But the animation is really slick, I do like that. It's a nice addition. We've also got bunting. Now this has been added really quite recently. And you could even use this mod on the 4th of July if you wanted a little bit of red, white and blue. Just hang that up and it looks pretty nice. It's a really nice addition. I think that's 1.11. So if you're using 1.8 or 1. I think it's 1.9 version as well, you won't be having that. But if you're up to speed with the recent updates, you can easily put in some bunting at a birthday or a just some kind of adventure map build that could incorporate into a lot of different builds, however you want to use it. You can actually mix and match all these different types of lights too. I don't think it quite works well when they're mixed and matched too much. I think the only one that really works for is the Halloween because although they're different, they work so well together. I, that's probably one of my favourites out of all of them. It's just that mix match of Halloween oriented lights. It doesn't work great when you mix the Christmas ones with the Halloweens, but it can be done because this mod is all about customization and you can customize it however you like. Now here is a new addition. This is again 1.11 feature. They've actually added in a standing ladder. Now you literally just walk up to it, you don't have to jump or anything, and it will just go up the ladder. And that makes it easy to hang lights in survival mode. So the ladder is crafted like so, of using free ladder as you would expect, and some sticks. And you can also create letter bunting. Now this is another new feature added with the ladder. A little bit of an odd recipe, so maybe print screen that, pause the video if you have to. But this is well worth the complicated recipe, at least by comparison to some of the others. You can connect it to here, or just wherever you want, and here. And you can type in whatever you want. So you can make it a happy birthday message, or I'm just going to go for something simple. I'm just going to put Xmas in. And you can also change the colour. Although there is a slight bug with that, it's not working for me at the moment, but it should be working very soon. You'll notice that if you try to type beyond the amount of space you provided yourself, so if I try to put 25th December as well on that, I can't actually fit that. That's just because of the, the length I've provided. You can go up to 32 characters, provided you provide enough space. So for example, I got Merry Christmas there. That's far more letters than it was letting me type there. It's literally just based on how much room you provide yourself with. So make sure you've got a nice sort of space if you want to put a big message. You know, it's really, um, it's up to you. Also got tinsel. We've got some hanging tinsel there. That can be, cho the colour can be changed to whichever you prefer. I've just gone for a simple white one there. But I think red tinsel looks nice. And maybe an orangey gold tinsel will look good too. You can also got garland or maybe on a more natural tinsel. That actually has more of a loop to it, which I really like actually. And you can incorporate that into a very um, natural build. Some kind of, if I was doing this forest um, aesthetic properly, I would have used a lot more of the garland. I just want to show off all the different types. Every one of the lights that you've seen crafted so far in the crafting recipes is up here somewhere. They are all around the place and I've lost track of where all of them are, but yeah, they're all up there somewhere, so have a look around as I'm going through here. They're crafted like so. You actually get two garland there, and you only get uh, the one tinsel, but it is well worth it. Let's just show you one of these recipes, because I've not actually shown any of them being done yet. I'm hoping it's going to take my word for it, but I will show you one just so you guys know that this is legit. Here we go, we've got the two garland. Let's hang some of these up somewhere. Let's go right click there, and we'll right click there. It's hanging a bit low actually. I think we're going to go a little bit higher. Let's go up to, we can connect it to here, and we'll go to there, there we go, that's a bit better. That one you need a little bit more space, you need to aim high with that one because it does loop down quite a bit. Now you're probably thinking, these lights are good and all, but how do I actually craft the little lights that make up the strings? Now here is where the crafting recipes get a little bit complicated, but it's not too bad. I've got to give credit to the mod creator for making these recipes, remember, to, you know, they're easy to remember because they're all well orientated. For example, we've got the paper lantern and it actually includes paper in the recipe. The flower one includes flowers. That seems like a really obvious feature to include and if you are if you don't play a lot of mods you're probably thinking well of course he used paper in the recipe, it's a paper lantern. 
but you would be surprised how many mods have really weird recipes. Recipes that just don't make sense. These ones, you could probably guess, if you knew, say, this one, this one, you could probably guess at this one after a while. You think, okay, we're going to have some iron in there. We're going to have the die of our choice. Think paper, add some paper in. It's, it's a really well structured recipe system. As they all kind of look the same, and it just makes it easier to remember. You'll get four back every time, and the colour of your die should always be in the middle. That's another consistency you'll find. As we move on to, say, the ornate lanterns and the snowflakes, it's a similar thing. I've gone for rose red and all of these just to keep it simple, but you can choose it however you like. If you're more of a lime green kind of person, you can put some lime green in, lapis lazuli, so on. All of the dyes can be used to make any of the decorations. Moving on to the animated one. Now the glowstone here looks purple to me. That's just because of my texture pack. That's not the mod. That is solely my choosing of texture pack. And of course we can craft all these Halloween ones. The Halloween ones are a little bit more complicated. The half slabs probably wouldn't have guessed that. But the pumpkin and torches make a lot of sense of course. We've got the red skull light. That's one of my favourites. The ghost light. I think again the ghost light only really works in the white. But you can mix that one up a bit. The witch's hat works in any colour, that one definitely red, black, light grey, dark grey, it's up to you on that one because it looks great in any of them. The spider actually as well, you wouldn't have thought so, but the spider works in a lot of different colours. So that the, that is the mod. They are our crafting recipes. I do hope you enjoy this one because it is, for me it's one of my favourites, probably my absolute favourite mod at this time of year. It's a really good one to decorate your Christmas build, so I do hope you enjoy doing that. If you have enjoyed this video, do take just one second to hit the like button, and of course, Merry Christmas.